hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our jump down parkour action for now if you notice we only play the jump up parkour action but if we move towards the obstacle edge as you can see the player just simply walks off the edge okay so we actually don't want that so now from this video onwards we will start adding the jump down parkour actions as well so let me tell you now how our jump down parkour action will work first of all on our environment checker script we will create a method for checking the obstacle ledges okay so for example this is the obstacle and the player is right here for example okay and then the player walk towards this ledge of the obstacle then right here we will detect this ledge then we will tell the player that you are on the ledge and after that we will simply perform the jump down parkour action okay and we will detect the ledge by using a method so for example if the player moves to this area then from here in the downward action we will cast a ray and then if that ray touches the surface then the player will know that now after this point there is no more obstacle there is only the surface and then we will know that yes this is the ledge okay so now let me close this and let's do it using programming so right here on the environment checker script what we will do is we will create a header by the name of check ledge then in here we will create a serialized field this will be of type float and then we will name this as ledge ray length this will be by default equals to 11f you can increase this ledge ray length according to your obstacles okay how big your obstacle are okay then after this we will create another serialized field it will be of type float as well and let's let's name this as ledge ray height threshold and this will be equals to 0 0.76 okay now once we have these two variables then after this check obstacle let's create a new method now for checking ledges so we will say public word let's name this as check ledge and this check ledge will need a parameter which will be of type vector 3 and let's name this as movement direction and the reason we will be needing the movement direction is because we will be checking for ledges in the direction which the player is moving so for example from here the player is moving to the right side okay then we will check ledges in that direction and in the player is moving forward then we will check ledges in that direction okay so that is the reason we need the movement direction and guys before moving forward let's open up the player script okay and we did a mistake right here in our starting videos which is we type this move dir on the right side okay and this move dir should be on the left side so right here move dir will be equals to movement direction so in this way whatever that is stored inside the move direction will be move to the move dir and as you know that the reason we created this move dir is in order to access the movement direction from this player movement in our every script okay so make sure that you do this as well okay then if we get back to the environment checker right here now let's check for ledges so we will say if the movement direction is equals to vector 3 dot 0 and guys don't get confused this movement direction is this vector 3 okay it is not this movement direction which is on our player script but we will be passing this movement direction from the player script to our environment checker but it will be later in this video okay so if the movement direction is equals to vector 3.0 it means if the player is 
not moving then we will simply say return false okay then after this we will create a float by the name of ledge origin offset because now we will be giving our ledge recast uh, origin and as I told you in the starting of this video that the origin of the ledge ray will be from this obstacle ledge in the downward direction okay so since this is the offset we will give offset of 0 0.5 and then now let's set the ledge origin so we will create a variable by the name of ledge origin and this will be equals to transform dot position plus movement direction and then we will pass the ledge origin offset okay then once we have the ledge origin let's now create a physics raycast so actually right here we will say physics dot raycast and as you know uh, in the raycast we first need to add the origin from where we want to create a ray so that will be the ledge origin okay this is the ledge origin okay this area this red circle then as I told you from that position in the downward direction so we will say vector 3 dot down and then whatever that ray his, hits we will store it inside our ray cast hit type variable hit okay and then we need to limit this ray by the ledge ray length and guys in our ledge, uh, ledge ray length make sure that the L is capital at the end okay change it right there and then right down below here as well and right here in this vector 3 dot down you need to type the down in small letters okay and then at the end we will pass the obstacle layer okay now at the start we will add a if condition and then we will store all of this code inside the round brackets okay so what this means it means that if the raycast is creating then what we want to do now we will first of all create a float by the name of ledge height and this will be equals to transform dot position dot y okay and then we will say minus hit dot point dot y okay then we will say that if this ledge height okay this ledge height is greater than the ledge height threshold then it means that we are creating a ray so we will return true and then after this if condition we will return false if there is no ray casting and right here make sure that you remove this void and type pool okay once you do that then you know that this check ledge now needs the movement direction and the movement direction is on our player script so right here after this main camera controller reference let's create a reference now to our environment checker so you will say public environment checker let's name this as environment checker okay then right here in the update method right here when the player is on the surface inside this if we will say environment checker dot let's call the check ledge method okay so check ledge and in here we will pass the move dir or you can say the movement direction and as i told you the movement direction which is inside the player movement is equals to this movement dir okay and we can access this movement dir outside this player movement so that's why right here we will type move dir after this we now want to print a message in our console 
to know that if the player is on the ledge or not so for that after this on surface pool let's create a public pool which will be by the name of player on ledge and in here we will add curly brackets and say get and then set then right here we will say player on ledge will be equals to this so if that is true okay we will say if player on ledge then what we will do we will say debug dot log and in here we will say player is on ledge okay and make sure that this is inside this round brackets inside double quotes now after this let's save the script and get back to the environment checker and right here in the check ledge we create a raycast okay so for now if you play the game you will not be able to see this raycast so we also want to show this raycast in order to understand it more perfectly so inside this if condition we will say debug dot log and in here we will pass the ledge origin and then we will type vector three dot down just as we did right there then we will multiply this by the ledge ray length and at the end we want to color this ray so as you know we already use it, the red and blue sorry the red and green ray so now we will just simply color this as blue okay so at the end type color dot blue and right here it should be debug dot draw ray go ahead and save the script and then click on player right here now we have the ledger length and the threshold on our player checker now let's open up the player script as well and right here on the player script we need to add the reference for the environment checker so drag and drop that now before playing the game make sure that right here on the surface layer you also provide the obstacle layer because when the player is on the obstacle layer then it means that yes right down below the player there is something that the player is standing on and we don't want to apply the falling speed okay so make sure that you apply the obstacle layer right there as well and then right here on the obstacle layer choose also the surface layer as well okay and when you do that now let's go ahead and play the game now if we go ahead and walk towards the obstacle okay let's go ahead on top of this and let's see the console for a while and now if we get closer to the ledge as you can see it is showing that the player is on ledge okay if you notice it the player is on ledge is now increased to 47 and now if we move again to the ledge as you can see now it is 66 so it is now that the player is on ledge okay 